Times Yacht Club Regatta opens with a race for large craft. Here's His Majesty's Yacht Britannia, on which the King himself takes command. The Yacht Britannia, designed by G.L. Watson, was built by Hendersons on the Clyde in 1893 for Queen Victoria's son, Albert Edward, Prince of Wales. She served him and his son, King George V, with a distinguished yachting and racing career. Both designer and builder made a fine job of the Prince's new yacht. It was said of Britannia that a better balanced and better built vessel never crossed the starting line. Yachting writers referred to her shape as the Britannia ideal. She was a handsome vessel. Henderson's built her light and strong, a perfect race yacht. Yachting journalist James Michael once wrote, so proud over the building of her were the men, that the putting of her together was a real labor of love. Really, it was not difficult to imagine that the framework was woven together so beautifully were the many parts joined into and onto each other. Britannia had to be towed to Portsmouth Harbour and placed under the largest floating crane for her gigantic new mast to be set up. It was the largest mast ever made as one spar for a ship. A silver spruce is 176 feet long and weighs over three tons. As a result of the change, Britannia will have to be fitted with a new suit of racing sails. And now that she is Bermuda rigged, a smaller crew will be required to handle her. During her racing career, which spanned over 40 years, in 635 races she won 231 firsts out of a total of 350 prizes. By the end of her first year's racing, Britannia had scored 33 wins from 43 starts. In her second season, she won all seven races for the big class yachts on the French Riviera and then beat the 1893 America's Cup defender Vigilant in home waters. In January 1936, the British people mourned as King George V passed away. It was announced that in accordance with the late King's wishes, upon his death, Britannia would be stripped of her spars and fittings and scuttled. So, on the 10th of July 1936, her hull was picked up by HMS Winchester and towed out into St Catherine's Deep near the Isle of Wight. There she was scuttled and sent to rest beneath the waves with a simple garland of flowers placed upon her stem head. In 1994, the only replica of Britannia was commissioned and built in Russia. Her then owner shipped her from Russia to Norway in 2009, but unfortunately the completion of the project came to a standstill. It was not until late 2011 that Britannia was acquired for the purpose of completing her rebuild and so that she could be used for charitable projects. As a floating venue, Britannia will be gifted to 80 to 100 charities a year around the world for fundraising and other events. This will enable lesser known charities to receive greater recognition and funding for their projects. Britannia will be fully restored to her pristine condition at her new home. Her former namesake was privileged to be tagged the King's Yacht and her reconstruction will be similarly worthy of royal approval. She will once again be legendary and rekindle memories of a world where nobility and honour were the norm. She will be rebuilt according to her 1931 specification when the original Britannia was refitted with a Bermudan rig. Upon completion, she will have the largest wooden mast in the world. From the beginning, this project will provide opportunities for youth from challenging backgrounds to be involved in the rebuild process as apprentices, working alongside with seasoned craftsmen. La decorazione degli interni, lo stile dei pannelli. Stefano Fagioni from Studio Fagioni Yacht Design is the chief architect and interior designer. Every piece of the Britannia must be carefully crafted and machined exclusively to fit the craft.
The interior design of the Britannia will have the same look and feel of the original Britannia, yet with full modern amenities, a wonderful fusion of both the modern and the old world. Everything will be custom crafted with attention to the finest details to bring to life what would have been on board the Britannia when the King sailed her all those years ago. Following completion of the rebuild, Britannia's purpose is to be a flagship for charity, leading a fleet of classic yachts into projects geared for war veterans, emergency service personnel, disadvantaged youth and maritime education. Britannia will touch the lives of many across the globe. The Britannia project from start to finish is taken on by ordinary people with a passion to do something for others. Many have come on board to be part of her history, contributing time, skill, labour, craftsmanship, hardware, supplies and the finances to make her a flagship for charity and to restore the Britannia legacy and heritage. Finishing this historical heritage project is our main goal, but we need you to make it a reality. Why don't you come on board and be part of her history and her future?